and foes, fays and fiends, and welcome to Quests and Chaos. My name is Alondra Heilman, my pronouns are she, her, and tonight I will be your heist handler as we continue with our playthrough of Keys from the Golden Vault. Tonight, we are in part two of Reach for the Stars, which is the level three adventure from this lovely book. Uh, before we get into that, I just want to do a quick shout out to our friends Nord Games. Uh, nordgamesllc.com slash 3.html. They make wonderful 5th uh, edition and system agnostic supplements, which I haven't used yet, but every week I feel like I'm getting closer. We are also, of course, sponsored by Quest and Chaos and Thomas Cook's own Deck of Inspiration. As you can see, uh, we have two cards each uh, remaining from the last time. Uh, players, which cards do you have, real quick? That one's mine. Bears what? Endurance. Then read it. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is like, I don't want to die. Drinking this po it's tonic. It's not a potion. Grants the user advantage on constitution checks for 10 minutes, or you may use it for a con save once as a reaction. Vital Strike. You may reroll any number of damage dice on a single attack or spell. You must use the second roll. I saw a fighter do this once. And you might again tonight. Uh, it appears that we've also received two more cards <gasps> for you from Duke Fleeg. I'm just throwing Thank you, your grace. So as always, you can read those and then I will allow you to exchange. Yes, we see this one. Oh, go boosted on. regen. Thank you. When consumed, this potion heals 1d6 plus 2 HP. At the beginning of each of your turns, you heal 1d6 plus 2 HP for one minute. While this may look like a normal healing potion, the bright red flashes inside hint at something greater. We can basically make someone immortal for this. <laughs> for one minute. For one minute. One minute. Well, this one, the Scarlet Minotaur. By drinking this potion, you gain the effects of a short rest and can spend <gasps> hit dice. When you complete your next long rest, make a DC 14 constitution save or suffer one level of exhaustion. Wow. Yes. No. That's this looks like urine. <laughs> Why would they call it Scarlet Minotaur? <laughs> uh, flavor text. And of course, uh, I have my uh, incredibly useful magical key and my surgical strike from last time. And I just received from uh, His Grace Elemental Reaction. Use a reaction to change your weapon's damage to any damage type of your choice for one attack. This may be played after you hit with the attack. Oh my uh, goodness. Good thing you guys are all so uh, elementally resistant. That's the only thing I have to worry about. But anyway, thank you all. Um, our tavern upkeep is currently at 52%. Uh, it looks like we have two bits, also from Duke Fleeg. <gasps> thank you, the players. All right, Thomas coming to you. James coming to you. Didn't even try. Didn't even try. <laughs> nope, just totally noped out of that. I catch all of them, so I was thinking, what if I tried not catching it? If I and actively tried to not catch it. The all process right. happened exactly as I hypothesized. Mm. Fair enough. All right, well, uh, before we uh, find out what horrors await us uh, tonight, um, let's do a little recap. Last time, the theft of a tome of mystical power called the Celestial Codex was brought to the attention of the Golden Vault who feared that the thief Marcus Delphi would use it to summon forth great evil. And so, two unlikely groups of operatives were brought together. Recent recruits Sloan, Stewart, and Devon were joined by two more serious veterans of the vault's activities, Minwu and Tamalak. And under the watchful eye and toothy grin of the rabbit hyacinth, they were teleported to the forest outside Delphi Manor, where the stolen codex is purported to be. The operatives discovered the camp of the unfortunate previous adventurers who had not survived their attempt to recover the codex and found some dubious notes in a map there. Cautiously proceeding to the manor, Sloane carefully scouted what could be seen through the windows of the ground floor before Tamalak led a cautious entry into the manor itself. Deciding to clear the house from top floor to bottom in an effort to find who or whatever lurked there, the cohort made their way to the second floor. While beginning to clear the second floor, voices were heard, leading the team to two cultists performing arcane experiments. After a brief and brutally efficient fight, the team incapacitated the cultists and interrogated them, 
only to discover that they were basically college kids who didn't have much idea of where to find Marcos, but were happy to tell the party as much as they did know about other eerie monsters throughout the mansion, including the hot sorceress who is now a creepy eldritch being. Yeah. Whoa, 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 not yeah. hot. Milf 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wrote this uh, before we recapped huh? internally. Yes, <laughs> the Milfy Sorceress, who is now an extra planar entity, I believe was the actual phrasing from last week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With one eye. Yes, with one eye. Um, and that brings us to where we are now. Our uh, heroes have just uh, finished tying up uh, Xander and Kira, our two uh, teenage cultists, essentially, our two college cultists, um, and uh, leaving them in an alarm spell trap room on the second floor. Uh, and now are standing, I believe you guys uh, had stepped back out into that like game room area. What was it called? No, but the game room without a chance set. Oh, parlor, it's the yes. parlor. Mm. Mm -hmm. I believe. Wait, no. Overlooking no, I'm the, at the rug wrong. thing. We're still on the, the second one with floor. The gallery. circular table. It's called the gallery. Okay. There are okay. so many rooms in this insane mansion. Did I, did Sloane also take, I just want to clarify. Sure. I definitely took the pieces, but I also took the board. Yes. Of, of the course. dragon chest. Yeah. You have the full <laughs> okay, chest. I realized I went like this. And I oh, meant. I visualized that you took the briefcase, opened it up, and just like monster chomped it onto the whole thing and scooped it up. So. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Yes. No. You you have the whole thing. Um, but yeah, so you are now standing uh, back in that room. And I believe the. I believe Cura, when she just sort of word vomited everything she could think of to tell you. Um, informed you that this sorceress is up in the observatory planetarium something uh, that is up in the tower. Avoid the rooms with X's. So are we- Trans Transcribe those over here. <laughs> share notes, share notes, share notes. They they have the notes. I, I was just like, nope, yeah. off, off limits, off limits. We have mm -hmm. topography tools. Mm -hmm. I think we should uh, head up to the, uh, the MILF and get this over with. <laughs> I think it was a former MILF. Yeah, that's what uh, I was in the impression. A former of. MILF. Well, that's just disappointing. I don't know. You know. Does that change your plans? Uh, Stuart, your 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 voice changed. I'm undercover. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he does that. It's really good. He's going to I'm a master accents. of accents. <laughs> Stuart's middle name is Jensen. <laughs> so, are we done scaring college kids now? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You guys good in there? We're fine, we're doing okay. Okay, yeah, I don't think very good. Did you just open the door? <laughs> that was no, they're alarm alarmed spell. around it. Oh, is it yeah, a circle yeah. trap? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so if they move, <laughs> then they have a problem. But for us, we can go in and out as we please. Okay. Yes, yeah. I believe you were listed as friendlies to the alarm spells. So and, yeah, right. and it's a silent alarm in my head. Great. That's nice. Oh. <laughs> Um, okay, so do we want to go talk to Zola? Because we think she might have been summoned here against her will. Now, is that with a Z or an X? I didn't get that Z A L A Zala. Okay. Zala. Zala. I Wait, definitely said Zola. If anything, she's, she's, she's going to have friendly. Info. Yes. We don't know that. Well, okay, here's my rationale. This guy has a celestial codex. This former MILF is in an observatory and was an extra planar entity and is now not? No, is now an extra planar entity. But was not at the time? Not at the time. So where was she summoned from? I don't know, it just seems a little hinky and I feel mm, like. No, I think I think she was a native sorceress to the prime material plane that who then was, who has been transformed into an extra planar entity. But I thought they summoned her. I didn't. Everybody, roll me a history check to see how well you remember I'm whatever sure. BS Cura is. Garbage. I That's definitely, garbage. Which one garbage. This is my favorite yeah. way to just adjudicate. Keep it up there. I definitely Keep like. Keep it up there. Garbage. No, I know. Roll it again. Don't touch it. <laughs> we were talking about how to charge dice. Maybe we'll talk some more about it in the after. All right. 13. 13. Yeah, it doesn't garbage. Matter. It doesn't matter. 
Four. Four. Six. Eleven. Hold on, I might I might be better than someone at this table. So. <laughs> yeah. Five. Five. Uh, <laughs> so hot, juicy, girlish. Uh, 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 Tamalek, in your exasperation of them trying to debate this, mm. you do specifically remember that they said that she was the milfy sorceress who used to be kind of hot, and then she turned into an extra planar entity. Mm. I explained that verbatim. <laughs> so still milfy. That's what I thought. <laughs> but Depends was was okay. We rolled okay. history for the okay. operative word. Hot, was hot is subjective. Okay, hot is subjective. It all depends on your orientation. Like I find confidence very attractive. It doesn't matter what you look like. If you are comfortable in yourself, and you're you know you're you're good, you're vibing. We're vibing. Then we're good. We're cool. Cool. So we're going upstairs. <laughs> I'll let you find out if she's hot. I'll stay outside. Oh, I'm already a committed man, so I guess Stuart here is going to have to be the one to make that assessment. I mean, <laughs> hello? Oh, sorry, sorry, Sloan. After that whole talk, I was not paying attention. That's whatever, it's fine. Okay, so how do we get the fuck up here? Oh, we take the stairs, I believe. So we're not more concerned oh. as to whether or not she's hostile. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, I am not priorities. concerned. All I right. just want to know if she's hot. Um, the... It is the burning question. She uh, could be hot style. <laughs> hero, hero would have... Oh, oh my god. You're a dad, I right? Pre I appreciate it. DUI? You, DUI? Yeah, yeah, I'm a dad. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that one gets DUI. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was... Uh, mm, that was so good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Minwoo is a dad. So... Yeah. Literally. I'll take a... One, two, three. Three? Ah, oh, my eye. <laughs> Mostly invisible. You turn invisible for one hour. Your clothes and equipment remain visible. <laughs> so right now you just see a floating curious and uh, my trident hang off the side and you do see a leather uh, scabbard with a short sword and boots just walking around. Yeah. Are you not wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> Full Donald Duck here. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, we're gonna say that. that uh, the, his... Yes, there's pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this entire time, Minwoo has not been wearing. You need to get like pants. ten minutes into the act. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. he's wearing pants. <laughs> Maybe he was in a kill. And he's just like, oh, I don't need this anymore. <laughs> Um, oh. yeah. uh, we're gonna say that, uh, of course, because you had gone and collected all of those extra potions and things that, uh, clearly one of them spilled on you and, uh, suddenly has taken effect. They are not the worst alchemists you've ever met, <laughs> but they're certainly, they've got a ways to go, clearly. Oh. Seems they have an issue with labeling their material. <laughs> God. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Hey, this could be helpful in being stealthy. I say you take the lead now. The stairs are that way. You'll definitely scare someone, that's for sure. <laughs> what well, I mean, I think, I mean, I think what we learned with these uh, these interns is that it's just kicking in the door and killing Scaring people is uh, not the greatest idea. I think we just yeah. scare them a little bit. Yeah. Well, and if they are an extra planar entity, maybe we'd say hello first. I like that idea. Hi. Little politeness never. Hello, happened. don't kill us. Uh, we're here to rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> I like the question in your uh, voice. Rescue you? I feel like those students were at the bottom of their class. <laughs> I've been there. Yeah, wrong. Uh, okay. No, I no. would like to look at the door. Yeah. That's immediately to our left. It is opened and there is a floating curry is there. Um, yeah, you no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I would have stopped her. Who? Um, I, Sloan, I would have stopped Sloan. Are you face, uh, looking at the map, are you facing north or south? Uh, I am facing north, but I think oh. Minwoo already opened. I was going for the door the towards the, the stairway. The stair. Yeah, the left you way. Yeah. Please use cardinal directions, because your left is different from my the left. The left way. Uh, the west. I was assuming she was west. facing, west. they were facing yeah. south. West. That's, that's why I'm saying we're going to use compass directions. Thank you. Because the left way. That doesn't Never eat soggy eyes. waffles. Never eat soggy waffles. Um, yes, yeah, you go gross. to the west door, you open it up, and you see a stone room, you see a little window that would let in light, except that it is now nighttime. 
Um, and you see the uh, a portion, an entryway into a uh, swirling stone staircase, which you know from your very sketchy map. Probably there's like the landing, and you could go down to the first floor or continue up to the third. Wait, do you remember the directions of which rooms not to enter? Just... Looking past, <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> through the head. Looking, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I'm like looking this way. Yeah. Good. And he pushes Min Wu through the door first. <laughs> Let this one go first. Okay. Is that actually going to work, though? I mean, we can all see. What was the name of this person? See. Peek his head uh, around corners Zala. And upstairs. Z A L A. Ah. Zala. Right? See, good point. Logical. Yeah. Yes. All right. So Min Wu is heading up the stairs first, and then the rest yep. of you are. Uh, following right, to some degree. <laughs> nice and stealthy like. Yeah. Yep, very slow. I uh, should be taking up the rear. Hmm? Clank, clank. Clank, clank, clank. No, going to, hey Zala, we're coming up, uh, friendlies. Um, Minwoo, as you make it up <laughs> the to the- The like stops and turns around <laughs> and just death stares. Right <laughs> Don't kill us. There, there is a look of horror on Devin's face. It wasn't allowed. It was just a, hey, if you hear us, you know, we're from. Don't have- Just the head. Okay. So, because- Yeah, yeah, you, you, you poke in the head, which is invisible. Um, there is not a closable door here. It's just like an mm. archway. Um, but as you pop, uh, you know, look through this archway, rubble lies scattered across the floor where part of the roof has collapsed, revealing the sky. Perched atop the rubble is a hunched figure wrapped in a cloak. It gazes at the sky, unaware of you. This isn't the top floor, is it? The third floor? Yeah. Oh, that's the basement. Okay. You guys were on the second floor, yeah. Third you floor is the top. up to the yeah. third floor uh, where there is apparently a hole in the roof, which has made this into some sort of observatory. Um, you do see amidst the rubble as well, there's some like books and things that have been scattered. Some are open to different pages and some are just stacked up. Not super organized, but definitely like somebody has been hanging out and looking through books up here. Mm -hmm. And Min Wu will start making hand signs down the rubble <laughs> staircase. Uh, uh, and you, all you see is just like this floating leather portion of a covering of armor just going, so no gloves. Okay. <laughs> um, you hear it. You're, wait, can I? Can I telepathically? I can see him technically, but I no. Technically, I can't see him. Technically, can't see technically him. Technically, can't. I think into the ether. Tomalak <laughs> has his cane sword sheath and whaps right where your hand should be. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Right now it just looks like a hunched figure. She's wearing a cloak. Very material or very phantasmy? Right now, pretty. In right whisper. now, yeah. pretty. We're whispering. <laughs> We're whispering. Yeah. <laughs> right now, looking uh just kind of hunched over and looking, sorry, was it? Just sitting on the rubble and gazing upward. Gazing at the stars. Well, now's your chance to ask her if she thought she was once hot. <laughs> I would like of to course. just of go course. up the stairs, <laughs> pass <laughs> all of this. Um, Zala, hello? Hello? That's an approach. Um, you, uh, you see this figure kind of sit up, much shorter than you would expect, maybe about the height of a halfling, something kind of like sit there and turns around and you see this like scaly faced, one eyed creature with these like very pointy teeth and like little spine, like it, it, the hood sits taller than it should because there's these like spines. See so head turns around and goes, what? At that Excuse point. Me? Yeah, you hear down approach. the stairs. Well, she hot. <laughs> She's gorgeous. I mean, I'm gonna come up if that's the. It's like, oh, we don't have to worry about sneaking around. I'll just tromp on up. 
Yeah. Um, I don't know that anyone is going to be able to see this, but uh, she looks like oh, this. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Love it. Yeah. yeah. So cute. Yeah. I know exactly what that reminds me Hot of. Hot TBD. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you're into that sort of thing, you know, her eye is very lovely, to be fair. It's also very large. Um, <laughs> what? What? I, I, I'm sorry. Are you... Are you new? Yes. Brand new. Then you're lost. Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay, what are you looking for? Ah, uh, well, okay, so uh, we're kind of looking for Marcos. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I, he's probably around somewhere. Yeah, I Find I him, figured. tell him I'm still mad. Oh man, what did he do? I, this. Oh, this, God. I have been trying to fix this ever since he summoned Crocklebar. <laughs> this time you do see the lightning flash because it's now dark outside. Does it always happen like that? Yes, like, every time. It's very annoying. Okay. okay, and he did this. When he started the summoning, this happened because this is what happens when people on the material plane reach out to the far realms without a proper invitation. Just shit happens. That's... That's not always true. That's horrible that this happened to you. Anyway, sorry, I shouldn't be scaring you. I know you're new. The kitchen's on the first floor. Okay. The pantry stays unlocked, but, like, be reasonable. If you're going to take more than a usual amount of snacks, leave some dollars in the drop box, okay? okay. Yeah. Uh, and check under the beds before you pick a dorm, because sometimes the ooze likes to hang out in there. Oh. You don't want to step on that in the middle of the night, because no. it will attack. Okay. Like, like, what are we talking? Are we talking, like, like melty... <sighs> Ugh, flesh. Uh, something. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what he's into these days exactly, but yeah, g general like disintegration and uh, horrible screaming. Is is there pudding? Is it pudding? No, no, it's definitely right. more like Jello. Okay, Jello. Uh, is there pudding in the snacks? Oh, uh, maybe. If somebody went to Costco, then yes. Fancy right. Costco, obviously. Resting on the stair, he's <laughs> sitting with his cane. He has. He just like is. Kind of doing, yeah. looking down the stairs to make sure they're not falling. Yeah. Hey, ask her about the codex. Oh, yeah. So we're supposed to fetch something called the Celestial Codex. Yeah. Uh, don't know why he keeps leaving that thing around. He uses it all the time. You should just glue it to his hand. Um, It's probably in his office or his bedroom. If he doesn't have it with him, wherever he is. I'm sorry, where is that? Oh, my God. Sorry. No, so no, sorry. no. I blame him for not giving you all that. There's no orientation. You know, we just showed up and then yeah, they were like, there used to be Go orientation fly? and then between his stupid rug and the stupid ooze and the... Uh, anyway. Esquire. <sighs> oh, don't even get me started on Esquire. As long as he you stays out of my tower. Who's Eugene? Hooks for hands. That's Esquire. I thought his name was Eugene. No, it's Esquire. Yeah. Definitely has always been Esquire as long as I've been here, which I'm assuming is longer than you were. See, this is why we should have orientation. What mm. What is Esquire? Is he uh, like a hook horror or a man with hooks for hands or... or... Like is he... If you were to, you know... I'm willing to see what, what it is. I, I mean, is there really a difference? He's, he's, he's horrible and he's got hooks where his hands should be. He's so... a demon. I don't know. I don't spend a lot of time with the guy. Not a guy you want to ask out for a drink, then? No. Okay. Very boring. Also can't pick up glasses. Hooks for hands. Oh, yeah. Mm. That would be a problem. Okay. All right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, so, map. Uh, bedroom or office, you said? Uh, yeah. Bedroom or office. Where Where would we go for that? I'm so sorry. Uh, da 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 da, da. Uh, uh, bed, uh, you go back down the stairs to the second floor landing, uh, mm -hmm. go into the gallery and just go straight across. Okay. Mm. The bedroom. Okay, got the it. The one with the big X on it. <laughs> right, second floor? Right there. And the, the one on the second floor with the bed in there. And the office? Uh, she scrambles to remember how to explain where offices are. Which is the DM looking it up to it, so I tell you the right room. Mm -hmm. um, uh, office, uh, you go down the stairs to the second floor landing, go out this door, go immediately uh, uh, to your right, and then hop back in. It's 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 uh, down. Um, 
oh, there's two of them. They're connected. I'm not sure what they're doing yet. It's on the south, uh, the southwest corner of the second floor. Okay. 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 So it's my understanding you're an extra, extra planar being now. Is that what this is? Sure. Oh, can I gauge that? What role would I make? Um, history or nature? Um, nature. I think they're both minus one. <laughs> Eleven. Ooh. Eleven. Um, I mean, this doesn't look dissimilar to some creatures that you met while you were on your travels. Do I think I can recall anyone? So it doesn't sound like you can leave the this plane. Um, I conveniently don't want to leave this plane in particular. I would sort of just like to not be whatever this is. I was just a normal human woman, and I was perfectly okay with that. This is a lot. This is there's a lot happening here. Um, things are kind of uh, weird, like in the in the capital W sense, and I don't like it. And also, you know, I'm really tired of sometimes looking at people and that causing them to actively start to decay. Uh, Do I? <laughs> are they? Sounds like they're not hot anymore. <laughs> are they still hot? What? What is? What? Am I being? Am I being punked? Did some of the no. other kids? Are they hazing you, kids? Do they yeah. Have you up here yes, to talk yes, about? they are. Honestly, yeah. Um, gender, gender yeah. Do do I know anyone who could? Do, if I come across in my travels anyone who I think could fix that, I, <laughs> you're traveling with one of them, if he's still around, but he's currently disappeared. Ah, uh, I think uh, yeah. I think we should uh, try and find that book for uh, for for, for the Marcos. Guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's probably waiting on it. Um. Well, then I can, I'll, I'll leave. Uh, is there any way I can point her to the Golden Vault to try and get in touch with Do Count Do you Hyacinth? want to reveal your involvement with the Golden Vault to her after you have just all pretended to be members of the Not vault? directly, but if I know like a way to point her in the direction of and to ask for a Count Hyacinth. I, do you know how to do this, that? This is a do you? Like, <laughs> yeah. you tell me. Do you have an idea of how Devin would do that? I mean, right now, he'd uh, she'd have to travel to that bar. That's the, well, how would you, she, how would you find Dave? Dave might know. Um, Dave probably doesn't know anything. Are you ruminating out loud? No, no, this is internally. <laughs> but, um, like, surely he knows people who can help and, like, kind of give her some sort of lead. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Sloan and Stewart because mm -hmm. you two are the two who quickly jump mm -hmm. on this. Uh, I need you both to give me your choice of persuasion or deception checks mm -hmm. uh, to see how how convincing you are on we are new recruits who are getting hazed by the other recruits. Twelve. Twelve. Dude. Trust me, just trust me. 17. 17. If All right, this, next time, next time. If this isn't 16 or higher, I'll pay 20 she's bucks. Gonna, she's, <laughs> she's gonna look at you guys and be like, look, I remember what it was like to be young and I remember how shitty your peers can be. So tell you what, I need a star map, but that stupid elf won't loan them to anybody. So if you could go to the star map room and get me the map that I need. I will tell you a secret. And then you can do whatever you want with that. Where's the star map room? The star map room is on the third floor. It is in the southwest corner of the third floor. Through uh, the X. Yeah. Through the X space. I think that's okay. We should be fine. I mean, when in doubt, I would. I guess I'd point her at the Great Wanderer, especially if she's looking for stars. Are we gonna encounter anything dangerous on the way there? Why can't you do it? Oh, I, I can't. No, no, no. It's. I don't know if you're going to encounter something dangerous. It depends on if Esquire is hanging around in the uh, Eldritch Observation Room or not. That's one of the places he likes to chill sometimes. No, I can't get in there. Because 
freaking far in hell won't let anybody borrow maps out of the room anymore. He won't let them us check them out. Thinks he owns the place. Can you tell us anything about this far in hell? He's been a real bitch since he died. Ah. That tells us a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Any way to, uh, from the back, of sitting <laughs> on the stairs, just resting on his cane. <laughs> That's the easiest way to placate this um, hook thing. Hold this beer while he drinks it. Perfectly honest, don't know. He also wasn't always the thing that he is and he's been just real mean ever since. So, you know, at least I think part of the problem, right? Is that I retained language so I can like communicate with people about what happened. Uh, he uh, doesn't really do a lot of talking. Oh. Do you think, and uh, I, I, this might be totally out of line, and it's definitely not why we're here, but do you think, like, if maybe Marco stopped summoning things and trying to make contact with the outer planes, that maybe this would stop happening to I you? I think that is incredibly likely. Look, I got into this because he was talking all of these amazing things about how we were going to, you know, draw infinite power and be able to really make a change in the world. And, you know, I, like, I, I've always been drawn to magic. I've had it my whole life. It seemed great. I did not know that it came at the cost of having to turn into weird... BS from beyond the stars, and uh, yeah, this is, if anybody ever offers you like a pact or a deal or anything like that, just remember that there's always, read the fine print, there is always a hidden cost that they do not disclose up front. Okay, okay. Perfect. Some words of wisdom from me to you. Uh, is, is, is Hook Hands likely to uh, attack students? Yeah, probably. Right. I, I, th let's, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's go, we'll go talk to Farnahol. Uh, get you the get you the thing. We'll, we'll be right back. Yep. Thank you so much for your help, Zala. Of course. I really appreciate. Have fun, it. kids. Okay. Let us know if you need anything. Yeah, yeah. That bridge. Well, the, the map, Other than the map, you know. Just, don't yeah. we have to walk past her? Uh, out of yeah. character. Don't we have to walk past her to uh, get to the study? No. We're outside. We're on the third floor. Mm -hmm. yep. Here. Where is she? She is here. Yeah, uh, she is in. And yeah, we need to go room. second floor here, where Hook Hand sometimes. No, yeah. so that's the bedroom. Oh, the we need to go here. Yeah. Map here. Oh, I yeah. was talking about Marcos's office. Oh, Marcos's uh, office yeah. is down. So where's we're here. here. Look, 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 look. <laughs> oh, here, oh, and then his bedroom's here. here. We're here. And then where's right? the yeah, yeah, star yeah. map? And star she map. is. She is all the way back on the here. No, no, no. Where, where was we were just talking to her? Okay, so you see the circle. Yes. We're in the circle. You're all in the circle. She is in the circle. You ah. guys are in the circle. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So the the map is on the same floor that we're on. So yeah. the, star map the star map is map room. here. Yes. Oh. We, no matter what, the only way is through this X thing. Okay. Uh, so you you have, have to it. walk through the what she referred to as the Eldritch Observation <laughs> Room mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. order to get there, and that is where you were told that Esquire hangs out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and listen to the door into that larger chamber there. Uh, cool. I would like Maybe, to do that as well. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll let you do perception or investigation. <sighs> Natural oh. one. Um, everything <laughs> that did, come totally on, dude, fine. you gotta fucking roll it like it matters. I rolled a for perception. <laughs> everything is totally not fine. Oh, this there is- There is definitely something shuffling around in there. Oh, there's, don't go in there. Don't go in there? What, what, she, what? Something's in there. You sure? Mm. Did I hear stuff? We have two options. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I can try and communicate with. Gonna start collecting all the stuff, putting it in a briefcase of holding. <laughs> uh, for anybody ever listening to this on podcast in the future, um, uh, Minwoo proceeds to. He gets naked. Thrum, yeah, it's gets ten fully minutes. naked. Ten minutes or an, an hour? hour. It's an hour. No, hour. No. How long does it take you to doff your armor? It's one hour, but uh, I mean, it's a leather curry. So mm. I'm assuming it's like a yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not full. That's, yeah, it's not fine or anything. <clears throat> yep. Yep. All right. Oh boy. Tomalak waves <laughs> into the abyss, assuming he says goodbye to you. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna be. So I guess I'm, I've just been yelling on the other side of the circle staircase from this thing. I just haven't yeah. seen her yet. Yeah. Okay. That, that was my assumption. 
So yeah, so you will have to go, like go past her to get out, right? Uh, yep, so we go into that second room. Uh, before the Eldritch Horror Room. <laughs> observation room. Okay. I'm readying a short bow. Yeah, so you step into the hallway. Um, give me a quick perception check. God, I forgot. Ah, so many things that were- 16. Um, you see the roof in portions here has also caved in, so you can see some beautiful starlight. You can also, in the light of the moon, see uh, some nests that have been made kind of in some of the upper awnings and kind of at the edges of where the roof has collapsed. Um, you do not currently see anything in them, but whatever lives there looks like it is probably very large. Hmm. Well, going to note that and continue to shuffle on towards the door to the Eldritch Observation Room. Put my ear to it. Oh yeah, you definitely You're already hear in. some shuffling. No, there's a there's a there's yeah, a hallway, and this uh, is an observation. Okay. You now hear uh, shuffling. It is slightly louder. It sounds like someone is just sort of like maybe just like moving around in there, but dragging their feet along the floor as they move. Okay. Um, can I message Benwa? Mm-hmm. Okay. Benwa, what do you see? Speak for volume. Well, there's a nest up top. Uh-huh. In the hallway, mm-hmm. the roof seems to have caved in a bit, carrying over from the tower. And right now I'm hearing some shuffling in the Eldritch observation room. I will relay that to everyone. <laughs> it'll be fine. All right. Well, Tomalak says it'll be fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak into the room. Uh, so that I can be ready with an uh, arrow in case something uh, attacks my friend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give me a stealth roll. Tomlock sits up and... <sighs> dude. <laughs> Bruh, dice jail that. No, no, no. no. It's, um, well, what was it? Loaded. That, that was, was 11. Eight. So it was 11 total on stealth. Okay. If you allow me to just slight, not red, don't, but like, <laughs> would you allow me to just carry in my hand my short sword, even though it's kind of floating there right now? You can have it, yeah. You can have cool. it in your in your hand. It's it, it is not invisible, but cool. yes. uh, you can absolutely. So yeah. as I get to the doorway, I will place it right at the doorway, and and you are looking into the the elder drop yeah. room. Cool. Uh, this room is empty except for a circle of vile symbols on the floor. Standing in the circle is an eight foot tall bipedal creature with two long arms, each one ending in a sharp hook. The creature wears the tattered remains of a butler's uniform. Okay. You see that he stands there, this thing stands there for a moment, and then sort of like shuffle foot dragging and also dragging these like giant hook arms, kind of like turns back to you and lumbers toward the window that's at the south wall. Mm-hmm. Um, you get the impression that the sound you heard as you're kind of seeing this movement now with the sound is that he's just kind of going back and forth between the window and the door. So like, from the window to the wall. To the wall. <laughs> that is correct. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dad jokes. All right. So as I see this creature moving towards the window, I will grab my short sword once more and see if there's a point that I can scurry behind any shelves or any tables. There is nothing in this room. Ah. As the description states. Mm-hmm. Interesting, so it's just. It's him and the horrible circle that has been carved into the floor. Okay, then I will sneak and just jet straight to the right into the corner with my That's short sword right, with sir. me. Okay. And then find myself in the corner and I will start to Think to Sloan. <laughs> Shit, how the fuck does Sloan is gonna wait a few <laughs> minutes. Uh, <clears throat> Menwo, <clears throat> what's going on? We haven't heard from you. What's happening? So I snuck into the corner, and it is currently staring out the window. It is back. Its back is to the door, and it is about. 15 feet away from the door? 20 feet away from the door? 
Uh, it is 35 feet away from the door. You can get into it's that the room. room. Um, and I also, I apologize. There are actually two windows in this room, so it is actually making a triangle. It goes mm-hmm. from mm. center of the circle to is it uh, one w- window to the next window mm. and then back to the circle. Is it at the south window or the west window? Um, they, uh, they're both on the south end. So okay, it's a, yeah. there's a southwest south and a southeast. So it's yeah. going southwest, what? southeast. What is this guy? Oh, that's... that's... He's not going down the corridor. He is staying yeah. in the main... But there's a window there, right? Yeah, so he's yeah, not going yeah, to that yeah. one. Yeah, but he's not going to that one. So yeah, I'm <laughs> in that corridor area looking over the edge or like looking around the corner, my short sword down below out of sight. And he's just kind of walking between the two windows. If I think this is one we can strike at. Okay, okay, okay. All right, uh, so Hook Hands is in the room, and uh, he's sort of making a, a, a triangular sort of uh, walk between a couple of windows and the door. Um, so that means he's not in the bedroom. We're not going to the bedroom. But we could, I mean... We could. The bedroom's not on this floor. I know, but Hook Hands isn't in the bedroom, which would make Okay, but then we'd be leaving Min Woo in there. Uh, Uh, Min Woo, as you kind of relay this and then you're watching, you see he's like standing there, staring out the window, and then very, very slowly just starts to turn and look directly where you are. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to... Shoot back over into the room with everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna ca- I'm gonna cast. Mu- How far is it to this doorway? To the which doorway? So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hide and cast minor illusion and make like a big something just fell in this room over. In the hallway. Yeah, by wherever the stairs and the fat dog is. <laughs> <laughs> in, the north okay. in, the north you know in the northeast room. Do you know that he is looking room? at him? Yes. Great. So I'm, that is a totally different room. It is in a completely different room. Yeah, but can you see room, where he though. is to know that that's where oh. he's looking at? He can no. He can see cool. where he's looking at. So here's what happens. You see movement. You run, shoot out through this uh, doorway into what you discover is, what? I hate everything, a bathroom that is in fact on this map. <laughs> and you need everyone to roll initiative as this thing gets ready to swing. There's a bathroom? Oh. The bathroom oh, has shit. stairs in it? That's not good in there. Apparently. Fuck. Thank you. <laughs> I yes. don't know why. Look, I... This is the bathroom. I knew that was now a bathroom. Now you throw them in jail. No, yep, I don't, yeah, I don't. Oh, yes I do know why. It goes down to the spa. <gasps> There's a spa. Uh, a spa apparently. Brimstone a a meditation room. It's a spa. That makes sense. All right, hang on. I need to tear up a piece of paper to mark. Just where... to clarify, you, you did to mean to cast a minor illusion in a completely separate yeah, room. Yeah, I was like, right? you did it two rooms away. In the mm-hmm. bathroom. Yeah. Why? Where there's no one there and he can't see in there. Well, it's a sound. <gasps> oh! Like a big thump to draw him into it. there. It's an illusion. How does it's, it make a sound? It's 25 to 20. 23, because Warren was right about this dot. Yeah. <laughs> Add that to the short. Uh, 20 to 15. No. Oh, yeah, 17. Okay. 15 to 10. Son of a bitch. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nine. Eight. Seven. 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 Fight for it. Uh, who's Dex. more dexterous? Uh, fifteen. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It's fine. I appreciate your initiative. Too bad this thing has blind sight. Ah, shit. I'll just go ahead and give you guys that one. Now you're me. naked. <laughs> yeah, and no armor. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. All now right. I want to be able to speak. Just like, uh, can I help you? <laughs> um, so, Stuart, uh, if you want to go in the bathroom and cast the minor illusion, I kind of let that be your turn, but I will also allow you to take another action after that because it's uh, all kind of happened at once. Okay. Did, did, uh, did, so I would like to have done that already. Did he respond to that, or is he only? You have no way of knowing. Because I moved out of the way of the door. you're not in a room where you can see him. Good 
This is where everyone finds out that Alondra is actually an extremely malicious GM sometimes. No, I'm going to run into the room and go, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we kill Marco, she'll go back to normal. Ooh. <laughs> Do I need to make a roll on that? Why which, would that which work? Which room are you running into? The one with the hook, hands. The hook hands. Okay, just I was just clear. Oh, Look, oh. there's been a lot of the room, and I'm like, we're dealing with like four different rooms. The ten like, minute box. Just being. <laughs> Lisha. Uh, that's one of the other cultists. You haven't met her yet. Um. Is this deception or persuasion? This is deception. I, th I, I mean, I think deception. it's possible. I think it's possible. Does does Stewart believe that this is likely true? No, he thinks it's possible. Then, then it's deception. What did you do? <laughs> A five. <laughs> um, the thing just turns and swings its ugly face and looks at you and like clocks you. Uh, Clock it's... meaning. <laughs> Uh, acknowledges that it definitely sees that you are there. Okay. I do have a bow in my hand. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm put it away. Cool. I also need you to just roll me a pure luck check. Ooh. Which one? This one? Yes. Ah, uh, that's awful. It 11. Was there. 11, okay. but it's a luck check and you rolled above the 10. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, that is going to, unless you have anything else you want to do, I believe that is going to bring us to Tamalak. <sighs> Uh, Tomok races from the stairwell around the corner, and basically I want to beeline, I hear the commotion, and he's, oh, great. Yeah. And he beelines into the door. I assume that will get me into the room. You I'm not sure how into... far in. Um, <laughs> um, what's your room speed, 30? 30. I mean, he's gonna basically, like, put his shoulder down and just go. He sees the mill. You're, oh God! You're basically going to be able to get into that hallway with the broken ceiling to where you can see through the door, like past uh, Stuart what's happening, but you will not be able to get into the room until your next turn. Okay. So you can now see Stuart standing kind of in the doorway with his back to you and this hook-handed thing. For those of you playing along at home who are familiar with Dandy, yes, this is a hook horror. Just go ahead and in a that. butler's uniform. In a butler's uniform. <laughs> um, yeah, horror can totally drink beer. Well, but it can't hold like, the cup. Yeah. All right, so I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, do a do, fake scan probably. Is it, exposed, but like, is it holding see. hooks or its hands are legitimately it's, hooks? Its hands are hooks. It is like a giant vulture dinosaur with giant bony hooks for hands. Okay. Uh, there's not much I can do. So I haven't been hit yet. It's fine. That's my turn. I'm. I guess I'm right at the door, like poised to break through it. That's cool. my turn. That is going to bring us to the hook horror's turn. The hook horror turns and makes like a horrible. Go ahead. Do I know what Marcos looks like? No. None of you have any idea what Marcos looks like. You might if you had gone investigated any of the rooms with portraits, but you have not. So okay, no. Um, uh, this thing makes like a weird sort of like bird screech noise, and is going to turn and attack the closest thing to it, which is Minwoo. However, it's going to take two wild swings, and will miss both times. Yay! And I rolled really bad. How bad? Uh, so worse than your AC. Of a 12? Yeah. Oh, wow. On both. Very sad. I I almost got you with the second one. <laughs> huh? But almost isn't enough. We're in combat. You want to hit the combat music? Oh, do I have to? Just make sure only one is playing. Yeah, no, I'm just double checking. Sorry, I'm new. I don't use music in my games usually because it distracts me because I have very little attention span. That uh, is its turn, which brings us to Devin with Sloan on deck. Yeah, okay. Devin will head in and uh, telepathically say to it, like, I, I can read your mind if you let me and maybe we could help. 
Does that sound good? Do you need help? Um, I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw as the static of a trying to connect into this thing's brain uh, reflects back on you. I'm sure that's fine. Uh, 13. 13. Uh, you are going to take two points of psychic damage. Okay. Ow. Um, I'm gonna assume it didn't hear me. Can I go, am I? Close enough to attack? Uh, I have no sense of how far I've had to go. The and... only person who's going to be close enough to attack on this turn, uh, unless it is a ranged attack, is going to be Min Wu. Um, th those of you who are kind of basically at the doorway have to traverse 35 feet. To get okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Technically, uh, 35 to 40, depending on what angle you're coming. So I just go, ow. Sorry, what? this is actually like normally sized rooms, so there's movement involved. This is also not the map I built, or I'd be showing it to you. Sorry, <laughs> I thought you were going to avoid this fight. And in that case, can I so double nuts. move to get to it? Yeah, if you want okay. to run up to it. Yeah. You want to use your, your move and your action? Yeah. You're right there. Huh? Okay, I'll get up in front of it. Bring oh. up my shield. <laughs> <laughs> all right, slow. it's yours. I'm sorry if I bump into you. Yeah. I'm not trying to. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you can kind of see the sword glistening in the moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> Which sword? That ah! was going to be my question. <laughs> and that's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We've just been demonetized. So my goal is to basically tase this thing to unconsciousness. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to move up into, I'm going to actually, if I'm in the doorway to the Eldritch, Ob Eldritch Observation Room, I'm not going to go any further, but I'm going to, I would like to stay out of the way if anyone wants to go past me. I'm not going to actually go. I will, I will say that you can essentially kind of like snipe around the corner, cool. like be kind of at the corner and blast and past it. Awesome. I'm assuming you're going to use your. I will use my yeah. movement to do that. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm going to take out the gauntlet and try to hit it with a notebook. Oh, I'm dumb. Fuck yes. Um, definitely more than a 20. That'll hit. Cool. Cool, cool. Could I have taken a bonus action? Oh no, uh, we can just say that was my telepathy. Uh, four? Uh, I was gonna say if you, did you, are you at the rogue level where you get the double movement for free? Cause otherwise I thought that was your movement in your, oh, movement action bonus. What bonus actions do you wanna take? I was gonna throw up a shield of faith. Sure. If I'm running up to, okay. No, that's fine. And what did you get? You. Uh, four points of damage four points of for the lightning launcher. Woo! Just hits him in the shoulder and to the, Shocks him a little bit. Um, and then uh, I actually don't know the movement on Lemma La Buddy on Theo. Yule. So let me just double check. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Um, since we're <laughs> since we're doing everyone's rounds at once, because I'm dumb. Um, Shield of Faith, are you, that's just on yourself? That's on me. What does it look like? Because I like Faith. Hasn't, hasn't happened in a long time. Um, God, what does the Astral Sea look like? Uh, you're surrounded by a galaxy. Beautiful wave of stars, sort of. Ooh. Stars. Swirl stars. Around. Yeah, it would, it would be stars. Yeah. Thousands. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so Theo has a fly speed of 30 feet. Mm -hmm. So uh, he kind of like launches himself off of my arm, Blinding. following, <laughs> following the the opal, and these little wings come out like, Fink! and he like flies towards the hookor, but doesn't quite get there because cool. of that yeah, but he's headed that way. His little, his little snake flies past out. us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? It could have been it could have been thousands of rabbits. But oh well, oh. I missed the opportunity. And actually, uh, Devin, I need you to make me a luck check. Also, oh my goodness, I'm very lucky. Under. Okay. Thank you. Um, and now, so we've concluded, haven't we? Sloan, Minwoo, it is finally Yeah, returned. after those two hooks of <laughs> miss, I'm going to stay within the perimeter of this creature, and you all just watch as the sword glistens in the moonlight, and using uh, <laughs> my fighting spirit, I give myself five temporary hit points, and give my uh, using a bonus action and give myself advantage on the weapon attack roll. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that's good because that's ass. Um, <laughs> so that's a twelve. Twelve is not gonna do it. I'm sorry, my guy. Yep. 
Beans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's let's just get a marker here. Let's get a marker of fifteen. Fifteen will hit. Yeah. yeah. Huzzah! Thank you. <laughs> so this, uh, you see this blade just glisten, flick out, and do four damage. Uh, cool. So I know that, uh, uh, there's plenty of room on this card to write all this stuff, but, uh, you turn it visible for one hour. In my mind, this is the invisibility spell. Mm-hmm. Which goes uh, away when you attack. It doesn't say that. Uh, it, say it, that. Does it does not say that. It does not say that. So DM's so, discretion. Oh no, you're stuck. Yay! I think it's much funnier to wait and see what horrible thing you guys are in the middle of when you become visible again and you're wearing no clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you also got naked for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Your your clothing and equipment. Re oh, remain visible. No, no, okay, he did because that, yeah. that's why it's I an uninspiration. If it was just no, the invisibility he, spell, this would have been incredible. It was useful. for no reason because it can see him. Yeah, it was a blindside, so you guys were screwed either Yeah, way. floating yeah. sword stabs cool. into the right. back of and this hook. That's gonna bring us back around to the top of the order. It seems cool with, to the rest of us. Uh Stuart Tamalok on deck. What the hell is that? Um What? What's what? That was the oh, luck Oh god. <laughs> Birds. I'm gonna get out of this room. Uh avoid the thing in the middle. And I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid the arcane sigil in the middle. Oh, God. Um, I'm assuming that it's. I, I mean, that's a valid. Yeah, it, it definitely looks like it is runic magic and bad. So. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna stay away and and hit it with a bow. Sure. Attempt attempt to hit it with a bow. What is that? An eight? Is that an eighteen? That's an eighteen. Plus five. Twenty three. That'll hit. Ding. Put that guy away now. And there's a ally next to him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Five, eight points of damage. Yeah. Nice. All right. Wait, there's an ally next to the hook car? That's me. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, the and floating then, sword. You can't uh, see I'm gonna use my movement there. to get into a corner. Cool, All right, and you're, you, so you're in the room with the sigil, you're just kind of staying on an opposite corner so you yep. can get range. Cool, great, love it. Love it for everyone. Uh, Tamalak, that's gonna bring us to you. I'm gonna be able to get there with my next. You can get there on your move. Okay, so Tamalak comes burrowing forward with uh, the cane unsheathed and the, the long sword in his hand, and is going to scream as he runs, <laughs> barrels forward, avoiding the circle, but rolls up on it and slashes down with the long sword for a superiority dice menacing attack. Hell yeah. Um, so I spend one superiority dice and use a bonus action on your turn to add to the total damage roll and gain advantage on your next attack. So I use a superiority first, so I get yes. yeah, advantage yeah. on this yep. attack. Yep, I'm tracking, I got you. Which is going to be a 19 plus, fucking what is that, damn it. Uh, it, it plus it five, it's gonna, yeah, yeah okay. And now on the damage, I add my superiority dice, which is 1d8 plus, oh, that's a six, plus uh, my long sword, which is again, another 1d8 plus three, four, seven, for six and seven, 13 points of damage. And they have to do a wisdom saving throw. Ooh, okay. I am five feet within its space and it, my growl and s snarl of half-orc rage is, might frighten it if it doesn't get a 13. It got a 12. Nice! <gasps> so Yay! now it is frightened. Great. Okay, and that means it must use its turn to move as far away from you as possible. From both of us. It can't see him. Oh, I guess it can, it can see him because it's a blind side. I guess here's the question. Is the hook horror smart enough capable to run frightened. into the house? Uh, he is actually capable of being frightened, okay. good job. Um, no, it's the question of is he smart enough to run into the house or would he dive through the window? <sighs> so I think that's gonna be a roll off. Mm. His int is not great. Uh, what was your DC on that wisdom? It was a 13? 13. We're gonna use that same DC. If he gets higher, he has a negative two intelligence. If he gets higher than a 13, he is smart enough to run into the house towards some of the other folks. If it's not, I'm gonna have him go out the window. Uh, 
That is a four on the die for a two. <laughs> you scream at him, and he is just, I guess, startled enough by the sudden appearance of all of you at once that he just turns and melts out one of these other horrifying bird shrieks and turns to the nearest exit route, which is through the window, and you just hear the of the breaking glass as he dives through. Does he disengage? To the window. Uh, no. So if you I want mean, to take the tech, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think not? he's allowed to because he has to use all of his actions. That's a 19. That's a uh, 14. Uh, yes, no, no. So it's a 15 to hit. That's yes. going to be a nine more nine more points of damage as Jesus. he goes. Jesus, ah. literally hitting a guy while he's down. Okay. Well, uh, so he's gone. <laughs> um... Well, everything's fine now. Devin, it is your turn. That, that problem <laughs> solved itself. Seeing the thing go out the window, he like, kind of, uh, Tomalak looks in the direction where he thinks Minwoo is, and he goes, Kumblar? Kumblar? What did I say that? Kraklamar? Kraklamar? <laughs> Lightning and thunder. So to the map room? To, to this room, because he knows it opens windows. That's the joke. Oh no! I'm, I'm I'm motioning to the where the yes I, you do hear the other unbroken window actually the the broken window but you hear that of the latches <laughs> unlocking. Mm. Huh. And I'll start heading. High five. I, I mean, at this point, we've announced ourselves, so I'm gonna head yep. towards the room where the star map is supposedly. I'm not gonna open the door, but I'm yeah. I believe that. that is the corner that Minwoo was standing in is gonna be mm. uh, right over there. Not that you can tell because Minwoo is still invisible. You um, see my sword. Yeah, you can see the sword, the floating oh. sword. That wasn't so hard. Oh, and are those uh, are are those like proper runes, or is it language in the in the circle? No, oh, it's it's see? it's horrifying eldritch runes. Uh, okay, I won't look into it too deeply. <laughs> <laughs> that is your call. You've already taken psychic damage once today, though. So, yeah. Um, cool. Uh, anything else you'd like to do with your turn? No, everything's fine. Cool, Sloan. Brings us to you. Um. Sloane's gonna peek around the door and see the hole in the wall. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check too. I forgot you were still outside, so you can make a perception check. This one's for free. Uh, 12. 12. Um, uh, yeah, you definitely hear the sounds of the flapping wings and the little like, ee, ee, coming towards you from outside the hole in the roof. Behind me? Above you. Above me? <laughs> As you look up, you see there's these hole in the roofs and you see these big old nests. Do I see the thing that's making noise? Not yet, but it sounds like it's coming. Okay, uh, I would like to hold an action. Okay. I would like to hold um, my, uh, launching my, infil my infiltrator armor lightning launcher. Yeah. That's what I'm holding. Uh, what's the... Excuse? As soon as I see something flying and flapping and Perfect. attacking me, yeah. then I will shoot. Something coming towards you. If, it is, a, if it is hostile and it is attacking me, then I will shoot it. Excellent. Um, Minwoo, that is your turn. Yeah, I'm in the corner, knowing that we're here to go to the map room. Uh, gonna slip around and... Mm. Uh, door opening sound. <laughs> you are the door. <laughs> Be the door. Um, yeah, you uh, pop open the door. Sorry, I have to turn pages again. Um, the walls and floor of this room are covered with star maps. Some of them are hanging in display. Some of them are rolled up onto these little low shelves. Um, and uh, you see a uh, the spectral figure of an elven man sort of like walking along like he's like examining the things but of course he's spectral so his hands are sort of passing through them a little bit and he's not actually walking because he's floating um and he just sort of like turns over and goes oh you were making all that ruckus over there please try to keep it down Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody, excuse is someone making fun of 
fun of me. What's going on here? I, yeah, get your mage hand tricks out of here, you children. Don't you have something better to do? I'm busy. I am working. Now you made us look like asses. <laughs> <laughs> um, did did Zala say anything about the star map she wanted, or? Um, retcon, because I probably did not clarify. Um, she would have told you she is looking for the star map of the Great Snake oh, constellation. Great Snake. Yeah. I apologize. I think that was an oversight on my part. No worries. Well, in that case, do I see anything in my immediate vicinity that would have a great snake? Uh, give me a perception, investigation, just as you're kind of scanning what's... Just see what happened. See, see. A nat 20! Oh, oh, yeah, you see it. It's the one hanging right there. <laughs> Excuse me, what on earth are you doing? And you see this ghost starts flying in that direction, in the direction where he sees the map moving. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> Bringing oh. more people into the fight, yes. Nothing can be easy. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Nothing can be easy, only hard. Um, <laughs> Look, hey, at least we kind of stayed in initiative so we don't have to keep re-rolling. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, so as that detaches, realizes, oh shit, it didn't go invisible. Uh, <laughs> going to peel around the corner because I, I'm assuming it didn't take that much movement to just walk inside, see it on the side, grab it and... I will say that it took half your movement to get and get to it, so you can get back to the door. Yeah, back to the original doorway and just back to the wall and... <laughs> Which, what's the original doorway? The door that led to the circle uh, yes. room? The, yeah. That, the, yeah. The first doorway, or the only doorway into the... Uh... Yeah. He's here. The double yeah. doors. So no, so yeah, she's pointing. Oh, I see, I see, I see, okay, I see. Okay, there we go. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm trying, you guys. <laughs> the southwest <laughs> door. Yes. There's yes. a lot of doors in this. Never the eat soggy edit, waffles. Said... Never eat soggy waffles. Okay. Um, okay, so now there's a very angry ghost flying at the door. So any of you who are standing in like eye like that see a very angry ghost. Yeah, I'm right there. Uh, uh, head in head in your direction. Um, that. Brings us to uh, Sloane. You see this mm -hmm. very tiny, awful looking little like zombie mosquito bird come cresting over the edge that. and you hear uh, more flapping and screeching like there's more of them coming. Go ahead and roll your attack because you had your prepared action. This thing is coming and trying to dive bomb you. Yeah, I don't like that. The most fun part is trying to figure out how to describe what D&D monsters look like in a way where maybe people don't immediately know what they are, but they could figure it out. I think I know what this is. 13. Uh, you miss. Shit. These, um, okay. So this thing is going to uh, come flying right at you. Fuck. Um, Something it, happening in there? Roll a nat 20. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, jeez. These are no joke. Uh, this thing. Is uh, it making a noise? Oh, these things are screeching. You guys all down here, like like little like yeah, yeah, sounds coming from out in the other room. Oh. Um, that is going to be uh, five piercing damage. Okay. On you. Mm -hmm. And this thing uh, takes its little proboscis and shoot into your arm, wraps its wings around, and latches onto you. Fuck. Um, it's for hugging all, you. Uh, it can. It's Get. Um, so, of course, as you uh, have assumed at the beginning of its turn, every time you will take further uh, damage as this thing begins to drink your blood. Um, just super casually. <laughs> I love these things so much. They're really fun when you're running. They are! <laughs> and Vampire that brings us around to Giant. It's kind of what they are. And uh, that <laughs> brings around to Stuart. You hear screeching from the other room. You probably hear Sloan cursing, and you, I think you see an angry fuck. ghost. Oh, God, so gross! Do I know anything about ghosts? Uh, and, You know, being, it's the City Watch background. It's, I, yeah, yeah, give me a history check. You deal with the living. 
You pick that up. That's your mm. fault. This <laughs> one is over here. That's totally your fault. There's so much dice judgment happening. That's yeah. like the table tonight. This is, uh, man, nine. Nine. Um, you. The last time you guys fought a ghost, uh, you you were basically in the group that was able to just like bail out. You didn't really get to see much of how to deal with it. Uh, you know that it's bad. Or you can assume that it's pretty bad. In the other room, there are things that are flying. Or I just heard one thing. You heard I... screaming and flapping. I'll say you can probably guess that. Uh, well, I'm you saw the hole in the roof. I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and drop a sleep spell on this ghost and not get my companion in it. Um, you can absolutely position your sleep spell such that you will not catch um, the floating sword. It's an elf. Nice. Uh, <laughs> oh well. But 14, it's technically a ghost. 17. It's an elf ghost. Oh, this is an existential 21, crisis. 20. Even I know three. that. 23 hit points. If it has 23 hit points or less, it goes to sleep. If not, nothing happens. Well, or it might not go to sleep because it's a ghost. And <laughs> um, it uh, does not go to sleep. <laughs> oh, it's too many hit points. <laughs> It's an elf! <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep! <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to... That's it. Great. And there's my spell slot. And now I get to decide uh, which fun, horrible thing that I'm gonna... You know what, this is honestly more entertaining for me. Um... We really overestimated our ability. To do this. <laughs> uh, again, this is also one of those moments when I'm looking at this module. I'm like, the way this is written, this is absolutely a way that this fight can and should go down, and that's kind of terrifying for uh, third levels. Everything's fine. Get, based on what's happened, I think we've all underestimated Tamalock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did just scare a hookor out of a window. Fix it uh, again, <laughs> Stuart. Uh, I'm gonna need you to make a charisma saving throw. Oh no. <laughs> the red. <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Nice! <laughs> oh, 19. Uh, 20 total. Dirty 20. Uh, this ghost comes flying directly at you and goes, and you feel the icy cold chill of this thing slamming itself into your chest. Uh, and then you just remember that weird feeling of coming through the teleport so many times so quickly there, and you just and this thing pops back out and looks very startled that that Aww. didn't happen. Uh oh. So you are now face to face with this uh, angry and slightly confused ghost elf. Um, pretty sure that's all I can do. It tried. It tried. And it did not su succeed. Uh, so that's going to be Tomalock's turn. You all right. So Tomalock uh, is still frothing at the mouth, really surprised that he, that the Pukar turned and ran and jumped out the window. So he kind of peeks over the window. So, oh, good. Um, <laughs> he sees, you know, it, this all happens in the span of, I guess, 12 mm. seconds. The the sword to bop away. So, all right. Well, as he's looking out the window, he sees <laughs> uh, Stuart through the door and a spectral figure slam into him. Here's the... <laughs> what am I? Oh. Just so he mad. Sees he just basically turns around and sees Stuart standing face to face with a specter. A little help here. <laughs> Keep making friends, huh? It, uh, to his mind, I guess the danger is through the door. Yeah. Uh, can I get? Will I have to go past the ghost to get through the door? Uh. You can go through a ghost. I don't think they stop you from. I I feel like they're just have like uh, when I turn have... around, it you guys are just like staring at I each was, other. I bewildered. was in the corner. Are you in the room? Yeah, you're like here. No, right? no I'm. I was uh, basically in one of these corners. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you you will have to you will have to run past the ghost. Mm, pardon me. Because you guys were all kind of clustered up on that area on the hook for. Pick up nothing good. So. Okay, um, he straightens up uh, 
and just runs to the door to go to the scream. You go, cool trick, to the ghost. Um, and where on the other side of the room is the blood sucking? Um, there is one attached to Sloane's arm as she is, right, or as they are right by the doorway, and you hear the sounds of more coming. Um, oh. So. Yeah. Uh, how far into the next room can I get? Not. Your movement takes you to the doorway. All right. It's a Thirty-five foot room. You have thirty feet of movement. All right. I'm at the doorway, and I just shocked. I guess is kind of you know. Screaming. I, I, bleeding. Yeah. Lack of action due to like what the fuck. Mm -hmm. um, sure. So that's my turn. Cool. 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 Um, all right. Thirty-five feet away. Uh, we have a bit from uh, Games of sure. Drift. Woohoo! Uh, Thomas is prepared. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you know we have two. We can get another card. I think we got plenty of cards. Okay. And say, do you need cards more than you need bits? She's further than five feet away from me. She's like in the center She'd of the like room. She'd be like ten feet away. They, I. They, apologize. yeah. They. So. <laughs> You have used your movement. You are in the doorway. Sloane was standing at the edge of the doorway. So I would Jeez, say uh, you guys are like, there's one square between you two, essentially. Got it. Yeah. All right. Well, Sorry, I know. If I had realized you guys were going to get <laughs> into so this, I, like, I would have maybe tried to build this out. I apologize. I thought we were going to dodge this one because you guys were so adamant about not going where. I mean, you said get a star map for a secret. <laughs> yeah! You dangled the secret. Oh, secret. The module dangled the secret. This is true. This is true. You all decided that a secret with no designation was worth fighting oh, for. Secrets are delicious. <laughs> yeah. Secrets are great. The <laughs> secret is you're gonna all die. No. <laughs> Old no man was totally happy just sitting on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Oh, uh, since we're already paused, it looks like we have another 500 bits from Ooh. Grace. I'll send it this side. Thank you, Your Grace. Uh, excellent. Uh, that is Devin's turn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna spray more stars around. Uh, channel Divinity to turn undead. What room are you in? The one with the ghost. Okay. Are you... Okay. Where in the room? Put my hand on the brooch. I was close to the door. I was. You close guys to there. were basically all clustered in the southwest corner. So oh, I can move here. towards. Got it. Okay. I can try and. Like if because you, you guys. I'm all north to... of the circle. I'm yeah. at the other door. Yes, yes, you're here. I can try and maneuver myself to like push it back into the room. Maybe do I, do I think I can do yeah, that? Yeah, you can. I have yeah. no way to visualize the room. No, that's fine. You yeah. I'm 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 we're being a little goosey loosey goosey here. Other than if you're trying to get out of the room. For any of you guys who are still in the room, your fastest way is to jump out the window after the hook horror. <laughs> that is what is next. We're not on the second floor, though. You, you are on the third, on the third floor, floor, so. Yes. Um, but yes, you can absolutely maneuver to kind of be next to Stuart and try to channel, send it back into the room. Though. Yeah, I hope it's an unwise elf, because that's a cool. DC 13 whiz save. Uh, what does your channel divinity look like? Do you, do you do anything special for this? Or is this just you standing there and being like, no, like, what does it look like? Uh, no, I mean, I think it's just appropriate for more stars, <laughs> star map stars. Um, this ghost hovering in front of Stuart. Because if it doesn't work, he's gonna be like, I recognize those. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> so I can appreciate this. Uh, suddenly this field of stars shoots up uh, from Devin, maybe like one wends off of the shield of faith and just starts and you see the ghost's eyes get large, and he's just, what? What is, what? And you see just this star map from Devin basically just pushes him back. I failed by one point. Oh! Almost Thank died. goodness, because that was a... <laughs> um, yeah, and you see he gets just pushed backwards back into the room. So let's focus on the other problem. Mm -hmm. There is still a lot of screaming coming from the, uh, ah! from the other room. Um, would you like to do anything else? I, if I have extra move, I'll, I'll move a couple more feet towards the door. Yeah, you but can I don't get, think I can. You can get about uh, five feet away from the door. Okay. Quicker if you go across the circle. <laughs> it's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Um, cool. You are basically out of play, so I can close that. Um, great. Uh, Sloan. Uh, Sloane is super duper panicking with this thing on their arm, just like screeching at them, sucking their blood. And they like, they're yelling, oh God, fuck 
second they hit a button on their gauntlet with a uh, cloud on it, and you just hear this <laughs> uh, as they cast Thunder Wave. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so each creature at a 15 foot cube. Yeah, I was gonna say which sorry, direction. <laughs> um, must make a constitution saving throw. Right, and right. the DC is 13. So this is a cube that emanates from you. Yes. Because this thing is on you, I will allow you to turn, basically turn your back to Tamalock and cast it in the direction away from him so that you don't have to make the save. Oh, thank you. This is yeah. You. Like, so you can absolutely just be like, no. I mean, it's your arm. Yeah, just, to, yeah. just get a little to Yeah. Like, Okay, so what save do I have to make? Uh, con save, DC 13. That one I did meet. Okay, uh, so 2d8 half. Keeping that die tonight. But we definitely have the attention of everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. anything that you know didn't what? already In know you In 300 feet. feet. We've said the name so many times with the windows. Yeah. I think this is just <laughs> Marcos in the just basement. Just locking like, and unlocking. Goddamn intern. <laughs> So four damage, and it is not it explodes. away from me. Oh, oh okay, wow. It explodes cool, cool. like a mosquito. Is that there you blood have... all over yeah, me absolutely. now? Absolutely, one hundred percent. But you it's your I'm... blood. Yeah. Oh fuck! Oh, this is gonna take <laughs> so long to get out. Oh. Gross. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm gonna kind of like. Yeah, I'm just, gonna I'm just gonna stand there. I'm just gonna stand there and do nothing else for the rest of the turn. Yeah, that's totally valid. Um, that move, that's your turn. You just watched a ghost get shoved back into the room against ours. You heard an explode, uh, a crack of thunder, and maybe an explosion in the other room. Okay, yeah, no, that's par for the course. <laughs> floating map, floating sword. I'm so sorry. No. Unsecured objects that are completely within the area are automatically pushed 10 feet away from me. I don't know if that oh, matters. Um, I think it just, like, the rubble that's in here from the ceiling just oh, but away from you. I think. Okay. The nests. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, some of the nests, like, lose some... Uh... Cool. Theo's not going to do anything. So yeah, no, no worries. He's just hanging out. Walk over, give Devin a pound back. Oh, what? Right. <laughs> oh. And just... Use my extra bit of movement to get closer to Sloan and just tap them on the shoulder. It's like, do, do you have my trident? Uh, <laughs> take oh, out. I see you're you're in a matter. Okay, yeah, no, it's fine. I'm just gonna point to the briefcase. Okay. Is it cool if I go in there? Or? Yeah, it's fine. Just, 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 you know, just think. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Try it end. Cool. Yeah. Anything else? You just standing by. Got a sword, got a trident, <laughs> got a map. What else do I need? Cool. Uh, as everyone is standing there, three more of these horrible blood sucking hummingbirds uh, crest over the edge of the roof and come diving in. Uh, let's see, who can they see? They can see almost everyone. Me, I'm covered with tasty, um, tasty blood. Unfortunately, one of them is going to go after you again, because you're right there and you are covered in tasty, tasty blood, and it's gonna absolutely <laughs> whiff. It's so distracted, it lands in a puddle of blood on the floor and starts licking it up. <laughs> it's dumb. real gross. Um, one of them's gonna go for Tamalak, and also whiffs just so hard. This diet might be going to jail. Um, and the, uh, who else is uh, ooh, here? Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna go for them and you got there first. I think, um, so, yeah, uh, that die is gonna go into timeout. It is loaded up. <laughs> you see, yeah. <laughs> Time for a jam. Um, you, you see all of these, basically what happens is it all comes down for you and then they just get so distracted by the blood that's on the ground because that's just such an easier target. And so they just all head for that instead and start, uh, Look at that. Um, and that is going yeah. to be Stuart. I guess we're just going to say that guy's done. Mm. That's exciting. I thought about making you guys like actually contain the problem, but that seems mean. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to run into the room and stab a thing. Yeah. Uh, at this point, it's, it's, it's your call. <laughs> That's a two. Mm. Seven. Uh, not quite. No. Uh, and then uh, bonus action. No, that's it. Bonus oh. action, no. Just yeah. like look at it and go, no! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bonus action, nope. 
Um, remember, crying is always a free action. Uh, Tamalak, that is your turn. Uh, yeah, while this thing is distracted, he's going to kind of walk up to it real curious, like while it's licking puddles of blood off the floor. He's just going to reverse impale the cane sword into the back of it for 15. That'll hit. 1d8 plus 3 is oh, it's 7 so dead. plus You killed it with your modifier. And as he impales it, he kind of like examines it on a sword. What am I looking at? Uh, you're looking at it, Bob. It kind of looks like if a bat had a hummingbird head that was still covered in fur, but then also the rest of it was had mange, so the fur was really patchy and a little bit like zombie-like. <laughs> and he shakes it off as it goes splat onto the floor. Blood spurts everywhere. Ah! <laughs> Devin, it's your turn. Yeah, you were the one that was around. Nope, one. That will miss. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. Um, unfortunately, that does miss. Uh, That's two ones in a row. Anything else? Oh, nice. your die doesn't love you. Do I get do a Do I get a prize if I get, get a third? You get three ones in a row. I will. I will give you a reward. Oh, sweet. Mm. If that next one doesn't pass, whatever it's supposed to, I'll pay you twenty bucks. <laughs> Two ones in a row? You are not allowed to use bits to reduce your roll number. I just want to declare that now because I've seen it happen or attempt to happen. Okay. Uh, anything else would you like to do on your turn? Oh, no. I just like trying to get it away from me. It's yeah, nasty. you're just kind of like nudging at it, trying to get it to leave. It keeps kind of going like, ah, and like <laughs> glancing like, back. Licking the, the blood. It's a little bit Ghost Gilbert blood. Godfrey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, knock it off. Uh, Sloan, that is your turn. Uh, I'm just gonna, I want to stomp on it. Sure. <laughs> so that'd just be an unarmed strike, right? Uh, yeah, do it like an unarmed strike. 12? Uh, not quite. Damn it. That's it, that's, that's all I got. Cool. Would it be an advantage because it's on the floor? Actually, it would be an advantage. <laughs> roll again, see if you get it higher. Okay, do I roll the same one? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know, 12 is hard. That's, that's a hard call. Mm. So you should always do it. Okay, I got two eights, a five, that's and a three. That's just the rule. Uh, five. No. Okay. <laughs> you tried. Then we'll finish it. You startle it. Uh, <laughs> no. So, since I'm invisible and this thing doesn't have blind save and I'm naked, <laughs> do I get an advantage? <laughs> Definitely for being naked. Um, yeah, the nudity is what gives you the advantage. <laughs> it cannot hear your armor creaking. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you can have advantage. You're in touch with your primal instincts. <laughs> Just, I will drop the sword and the star map, two-handed. Don't trident. drop it on the blood. <laughs> Uh, that's a nat 20. <gasps> yeah. Uh, but I did roll a one on my damage. So <laughs> two plus two, so four damage. You still get it. Yay! Yay! Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll let you take the last one out and then I'll give you the fun fact. Um, <laughs> so, cool. Uh, yeah, great. There is one more left on the floor, like screaming at Devin as he tries to nudge it out of the way. And so, uh, <laughs> it is going to try to bite you, I guess. <laughs> Uh, cause you're nudging it. What's your AC? 20 right now. Oh yeah, it misses. 20. Damn, yeah. man. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I was He's excited for He's covered in stars. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. It's been so long. That was depressing. Uh, Stuart, it's your turn. There's one grumpy one. I'm gonna, uh, you look uncomfortable. I'm gonna use prestidigitation on <laughs> Oh my God, you have to show me how to do that. And then I'll uh, walk into the other room, so I'm not in the same room as, <laughs> as the uh, as the thing. Oh my god! Come on, guys, I'll, I'll open the door for uh, you. It's okay. uh, Don't get eaten by the ghost. <laughs> Damn, like it's your turn. Um. <laughs> yeah, he wants to step on it. Okay. All right. Nice. Let him deck. Oh, nice. Seventeen plus five. Yeah, that'll crush. And then was it strength D six plus strength? Uh, yeah. Okay. Strength is my strength is plus three, isn't it? You kill it with just your strength. You don't even have to roll. Mm. Uh, for flavor. Yeah, go for it. See how no. much I was gonna say. See how much you pop him. Uh, uh, cool. Bleh. You just walk over. Don't and just, I like to be stepped on. Oh. Uh, okay. And now <laughs> you are all out of initiative. <laughs> as uh, the floor <laughs> is covered in blood, Sloan is no longer thanks to mm -hmm. present vegetation. As you all kind of look at each other like, well, that's a thing that happened. And with that, we are going to take our break. 
Why do we need to do that again? <laughs> so we will be back Format. as soon as six people can use one bathroom. Please stick around. We're going to make this break as short as possible because then we're going to come back because there's a whole other fight under this map that I need them to get to. Come back, come back, come back. We'll see you soon.